Hey guys, it's Miss D. Today we're going to be doing a bubble wand. You can't always go outside um, to make bubbles or you might not always have the supplies, but if you have a piece of paper and some markers, a sharpie, and some scissors, you can make your own fake bubbles. I also just love the idea of putting lines and color to create something that is transparent but so beautiful. So this is a quick and easy way to just have some fun, so stay tuned and I'll tell you the surprise. Alright guys, so we're going to be making our bubble wand, and what you need today is a piece of paper, a pair of scissors, a sharpie, um, or crayon or whatever you're using to draw with and something to color and make those lines to just make it look really really beautiful so get those things and you'll be ready to go your bonus items you might want to go ahead and get now is a pencil or a chopstick or like a skewer um, you could even go outside and give it a stick I guess and some tape because you'll see it kind of gets flimsy it'll still work if you don't have these bonus items but if you want to go and get everything you need now this does make it a little bit sturdier all right guys so one thing that makes it kind of easier um, to know kind of where your nose would go so it will look like you're actually blowing if you wanted to take a fun picture is to kind of make just like a triangle that would represent kind of where your nose would be and then you're going to go underneath and you're going to make like a stretched out C. Okay? Then you're going to go all the way to the bottom. You're going to come back, do another stretched out C, staying close to the shape. Go all the way to the bottom. We're going to come up here to the middle one. We're going to do a flat oval and touch. A flat oval and touch. So it should look something like this. Now you have the option of going and coloring this any colors you want. You could do a rainbow, you could do it stripes, you can color it all in black. Um, for my for this video I'm just going to color it in black, but you can always do whatever you want. Alright, the next step is you're going to start right here on the back side, like our first C. And I'm going to go out and come back to make my first bubble. Okay? Then you're going to go around. Whenever you're doing a bubble, this is like the air is blowing in. So this is like before it's left the wand. As your bubbles leave your paper, there are different sizes. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to make about 10 circles. Don't go too fast. I kind of went too fast there. See, I'm going to drop my edges. So if I wanted to, I could come back kind of smooth that out. Okay, and then since I did that, I might come back and make that one a little bit thicker. Okay, I'm going to go around one, two, three, four, I'm going to vary up the size as well. Now the next thing we're going to do is add some lines towards the edge of the circles to show that these are bubbles. So that's going to look like this. Control your Sharpie. Okay. I'm going to go right by the edge. I'm going to curve. Alright, here comes the fun part. Now you're going to pick any colors you want, okay? And you're going to go right by those lines you made, okay? Right by the edge. And I might pop around. Remember, we want to pop. We don't want to put everything the same right together. So I'm going to kind of do a few maybe with my blue. I can switch to any color I like. Kind of go by the edge and add some fun details. Alright, when you go to cut, you're going to want to stay right here by the edge. Okay. And follow 
follow the shapes or the contour, the outside edge of your bubble, kind of making like a cloud shape. Here's the important part. Remember how we made that nose? We don't need that. That was just so we kind of knew where to put our wand. So now we're going to cut that off. We're going to go around our wand, leaving that white edge. And voila, you have your bubble wand. If you find that your bubble wand might be a little bit too flimsy, like you don't feel like you can hold it up at your mouth, if you have a pencil or a chopstick or a skewer or something like that, you can take the pencil and some tape and you're going to just tape it right here on the back. Now, you have a bubble wand.